Hello folks, this is Gary with Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom, even though we're looking at it from our home base. But today, I decided to do a project, and I'm going to change the hydraulic fluid in my leveling jacks. So I told my better half behind the camera that I was going to do that. And I know what flashed in her mind was sink faucets, replacing toilet, so she asked me the questions, what can go wrong? And I told her, nothing dear, this will be a piece of cake. And if you want to see what a piece of cake is like, you might want to refer back to those two videos, that the cake wasn't too good. But I promised her today that this would be a piece of cake. But I'm going to redeem myself. Redemption is today. Hydraulic fluid changing in the RV motor. Let's go. Okay, so step one. I'm going to start the motor, bring my slide in, and retract my jacks. Because I want all that fluid that's currently in the jacks with them retracting to go right back into my reservoir so that I can get it all changed. So step one, start the motor home, bring the slide in, and retract the jacks. As long as I got to retract my jacks today and bring my slide in, I got my silicon spray. Let's see how this thing slides in here. I'm just going to grease it up with the silicon. And there's my jacks right there. Give them a squirt. And see that one way over on the other side? No, we can't see that one. Way well, over. anyway, I can reach it from here so I can get the back side of that side. Oh, really? And then when I'm over there, I squirt that side and the back side of this side. Awesome. So that squirts out pretty, pretty good far. distance? Yeah. What is that that you're using? Silicon lube. Three in one. Where do you get that from? Walmart. Walmart. And you just get everything that slides in, so it slides in pretty good. There we go. See those little gear teeth up there? So you got gear teeth right there. Mm -hmm. You get them. I'm trying not to get sprayed. Look at that, right there. We are still battling the stink bugs. We're, we've had stink bugs since Virginia. Okay. So I got that done, so let's go ahead and let her in. So I've got the jacks raised, and my uh, hydraulic fluid is right here. Right here. And that's it. I hold six quarts. As you can see, it's got a fill cap. It's got a little drain. So, so how would one drain that? You would think they might want to put a little drain plug maybe where this little thing knockout might be but you know so you have to use this and you can buy this from Amazon we'll put a link in the description suction drain pump it's a siphon it also comes, which I've never used, so that's why it's in this bag of stuff. It's got this black tube here. Let me hold it up. This black tube right here, technically it's supposed to go down where your dipstick of your oil is into your crankcase so you could pump out your car oil from the top instead of going underneath. I've never done that, probably never will. That's what that's for. It also comes with this other line here with the spring on it. And that's in case you want to use this pump to pump up beach balls, footballs, air. It's an air pump. And it's got the air fitting here. So you can do water, antifreeze, oil, air. You, know, you can do any aquarium. If you want to do your aquarium with it, you could. Oh, you know, of course you want to clean it out if you're doing different liquids, but 
So, that's the pump. This is the oil we use. Transmission fluid, Dextron 3 or Mercon at least. I'm using this Valvoline. It's a uh, synthetic. It means it's a Dextron 6, Mercon 5, which is higher than the Dextron 3, which is what this pump needed back when it was new, but now they've moved on up from Dextron 3 all the way up to 6. But this covers it. It's a synthetic. Four, five, six gallons, six quarts rather. If you want to know the cost of six quarts of this stuff, $45. The optic is to get that oil out and this oil in. So I need something to drain that oil into. So this is what I'm going to use. This right here is the container from this box. It's part of my death fluid. I'm just going to use that. Drain my oil into this, put the cap on, and then take it up to where I can leave oil at the transfer station when I take my garbage. So, let's get uh, all this stuff put in and see how we go. How often should one change their hydraulic fluid? They say every two years. Okay, so I pulled the plug for my reservoir. I'm going to go set it over here so I don't lose it. <laughs> it's another one of our fun adventures, Mr. Yeah. D. You see all these leaves down here? Try doing a project. Yeah. <laughs> we just lose it. <laughs> if you drop it here, it's gone. It may have happened before in the past. All right, I stuck the top of the hose, the top, into to the bottom this is the draw side and then i'm going to stick this side of the hose into this now i'm going to pump How is the ease of the pumping? It's stiff. It's Would stiff. Would you like to try? Uh, no, because it's all greasy. No. But if I had to do it, could I do it? Yeah. No, it's probably no worse than your bicycle pump. Oh, okay. okay so we're trying to get that last little bit out, but. Oh. There it went. Yeah. Takes a little playing with it. Where do you get those from? The shop racks? Auto Parts, Walmart. Yeah, good to have on hand. Yeah, just about anywhere. Yeah, just shop rags. Yep. All right, our old is out. Okay, out with the old, in with the new. So now we're pumping this into this. Okay, so we're gonna reverse the process now. Top is the pump into my jug. Into the, into the uh, canister there. They really don't make it easy to get a level of funnel in there or nothing. Now you can get a small hose and stick in there, bring it around and hook it to a funnel. I'm going to try this. See how this goes. What can go wrong? I'll say what can go right. I like that better. What can go right?
Yeah, let's add these to the big ones. Um. So do you think in some RVs this might be more accessible? I think it might. Just depends on the RV? Just depends on the RV. My gut feeling would say probably not. <laughs> I've about got all the good out of the bottom of that. Ooh. And there we are. Whoa! It's empty. There we go. Six quarts. It's, it's full. So fill up right to that, to where the plug goes. Yep. And you had six quarts, correct? Yep. So that's right. Six quarts is what it holds. My wife asked me how I know this stuff. It's just a giant brain. <laughs> I ask him that because, like, he's like, oh, I'm going to go do X. I'm like, well, how do you know to do X? I don't know to do X. I mean, guys, it's not like he pulls out the manual and says, oh, it's time to do X. So I am trying to learn. All right, there it is. Taps back in. And it snapped, so you know it's locked in because it went pop. Okay. Snap popped in there, like a snap pop. All right. Oh, and by the way, this is our inverter. I also carry hammer. I got a big boy hammer if I need it for something. I don't know what, but I got it. <laughs> I got a piece of wood. I got some extension cords. This right here, it's just a piece of bamboo taped, but this is exactly how much clearance we need for our slide out. So if we're in question of whether our slide will come out without hitting stuff, we just put the uh, measuring up. And that but has we got been this much, we're good. That has been so helpful if we're in a place where we're like, I don't know, that's really close. We'll pull that out and check. And that has been a big help. Okay, now that we've got everything done, clean our little jugs. Got some fresh oil in there. And the reason you want to put fresh oil in there, because you notice when you're, uh, you put your jacks down, you know, this will come down. And over a period of time, you might develop condensation in there. You get water in there. Maybe some trash gets up in there. And water and trash are the arch enemies of those jacks. So you want to keep it clean. And they say every two years. So that's that. Now the part that my wife wants to see is the jacks work again. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> we're, we're leaving. We have, we have reservations in two yeah. days, two, three, uh, four days, I guess. So, and the weekend's coming. So, yes, I do want to I should see go them. in there and push the button and say, aren't they working? <laughs> Give her a moment. Uh, All right. All right, so we reverse everything we just did. Yep, we're going to go let the jacks down. If you're wondering how to add water to these batteries, if we get a video on that. Yeah. This is my death fluid. Pretty sure that's a 10 gallon container. And that is required... Diesel exhaust fluid. Right. And I just put two jugs in. How often do we have to put and that in? And I did not put any in our whole trip last year, which was, what was it, 3,800 miles, 36? Something like that, 3,000 something. Over, yeah. yeah, over, over 3,500 miles, and I added two jugs, five right. gallons. Right, so it lasts a long time. It does last a long time. 
Now, is it easy to fill? I know the batteries were a... Oh, to fill my def fluid. Oh, I see. Yeah, they, they did make that easy for you. Not very, because you see. Oh, no. Okay. So what I do is I stick my funnel in there, which it will go at an angle. And then the, the def fluid... The def fluid boxes come with these... They're spouts. So I'm able just to screw this on here. It's what you're supposed to do. Gotcha. And I just dump it into the funnel from the outside with these bendable things. Oh, okay. All right. And that's a pretty good storage carton for something. I don't yep. know what. Yep. For uh, when you change your oil. Yeah. <laughs> your it's hydraulics. Got a, it's got a funnel. Save your, save your def bottle. Cleaning up this mess and going to put everything back in order. Okay, here goes. Jacks are going down. So what we should see here is this fluid empty out as it goes to the hydraulics. It took about a half a jug good oil up into those cylinders and pistons so some people don't use auto level some people like the manual level and that's okay it depends on your own style but for me when you're doing a, a fluid change you should auto level that way all those pistons come in and out and they extend and, and you're getting all that fluid up into all four of the pistons. And then after that, if you want to go back to manual leveling, that's fine. But I would say for a fluid change, you should at least auto level a couple of times to get all that good stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So, we're done. This is it. This was a great project. <laughs> Nothing went wrong. We're back to level again. <laughs> I'll tell you, one thing I did do wrong, I really should have worn gloves. But I got sidetracked and wanted to get it done. That transmission fluid is nasty. It's oily. Well, all of it is oily, but wear gloves. I should have worn gloves. All right, there's probably something on that box that says, uh, that container yeah, that well, says, avoid contact with skin. As a kid growing up in high school that worked in gas stations through high school and all that, and I've done a, a lot of that, but <laughs> you should wear gloves. That's my bad. Take that responsibility. Next time I'll wear gloves. So, that being said, I think I'm going to shut the door on this project. This is Gary with Rough Road RV Life. Nervous, not so nervous, sharing behind there, smiling this time. Huge smile and a chuckle because well, nothing went wrong. We always end laughing, even if things go wrong. It's, like, it's a good laugh. Yes. <laughs> so, we're good for a couple years, and we'll do it again. Or maybe she'll do it next time, and I'll camera it. You should see that look. It's not going to happen, people. <laughs> All right. Rough Road, Gary, Sharon, dogs in there. We like looking at freedom. Stay safe. Hope to see you on the road. Another rough road video. Oh, I, forgot, I always forget the uh, 
the like subscribe stuff but if you want to we're just about videos take care